combination of a lot of things. We, we think at the end of the day, we have a really good shooting team, and uh, we just have to make sure we keep trying to get the shots that we practice. And that's when we touch the paint, we collapse the defense, you draw a second guy, you spray it, and our guys are ready to shoot it. And uh, you know, we started to show a little bit last night of uh, how good of a team we can, we're going to be able to shoot the basketball. And how pleased were you with obviously the bench production? Jordan obviously kind of mentioned him a little bit last night, and Trey kind of finding his way. Yeah, both those guys were, were big for us. Even Keon was big for us coming off the bench. Uh, he didn't score like the other two guys did, but he gave us some versatility on the defense end of the floor that helped out a lot in a lot of different ways. So, uh, you know, our bench has to continue stepping up and doing what they're capable of doing and it'll make uh, our job or the starter jobs a lot more easier. Mike, 38 assists last night. Uh, this season the ball's been a little sticky. Like how do you bottle that up and sort of see that on a nightly basis? Uh, you just got to keep coaching it, keep showing it. The guys understand that sometimes we over penetrate, you know, and sometimes we don't get off it on a timely manner. Uh, but then also part of it too is you know, like I said, I, I, I have liked the shots we've taken because it's, it's not like we're coming off pin downs, jacking them. You know, we're, we come off of DHOs and we shoot them, but we've been doing that for two years now, you know, going on three years. And um, so the, the shots that we're getting are, are good. We can get better shots if we get off the ball, especially when we tap the paint. And uh, that's what we did last night when we tapped that paint whether it was off of a drive, off of a roll, and the ball hit the pocket, uh, even sometimes off of a cut. You feel that second defender pull over, you know somebody's open, and so that can add to your shot quality the, in the right direction if we get off the, the, those types of, uh, if we get those types of shots. But, uh, see, just with the, playing without Jamar in that second half, did it feel like you guys continued playing the same way that you'd like to play with them or on the floor, or did you have to resort back to Different, maybe different things. No, nah, you know, obviously with DeMar on the floor, we have a guy that can go get a bucket, especially one-on-one. -on -one. And, uh, you know, we still have that, to, you know, with, with Foxy. Uh, but, you know, the, the ball movement uh, is probably going to be there a little bit more because the couple of sets that we do have uh, in for DeMar, they're more ISO sets. And when he's not here, we don't have much of that. We, we, we have... Uh, some pick and roll things for Foxy where he gets downhill and uh, uses his speed and it's up to him to either finish and or spray it. And he did a fantastic, not a great job, but a fantastic job of spraying the basketball. I think he started it off for us by hitting somebody in the right wing on one of his pick and roll drives and it just kind of snowballed from there for, for, good, for the good for us. With the NBA Cup outside of maybe point differential, is there anything that is different from a coaching standpoint? Yeah, and sometimes the floor messes you up because you want to look and, and admire the floor, but you got to watch the game. So that's probably the only thing. That's it. <laughs> Mike, when you look at Minnesota, they're kind of in the same boat you are where they switched out a major offensive piece, sort of the top of the rotation type deal. How difficult is that uh, to sort of game plan for someone who's totally different than the guy who left? Uh, it, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult, you, you know, it's not only is it difficult to game plan for them, but also for them to get it going, you know, you look at a team like Dallas adding play to the mix and, you, you know, it's going to take some time for those guys to figure out rotations and, you know, what actually works on, on the offense in the floor, what actually works defensively, because uh, not that he plays a good defender, but they had a really good defender, a specialist in uh, Herb Jones, I think it was, that left last year. So uh, it, it, it takes a, an adjustment for those guys as well as for anybody that's going to play against those guys because you got to figure out different things. Uh, you mentioned play. What did you think of that ceremony the other night? I didn't watch the whole thing, you, you know, but man, it, it, it's it's pretty cool. And you know, again, I don't know what anybody said afterwards, but it's pretty cool that they handed out the captain hats. And you see, when you when they fanned the, the stadium, everybody was wearing the captain hats. So uh, it, it was cool. I, I might have skipped our game and, and gone down there if they handed out boats. <laughs> I'd, have I'd have taken a boat. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care how big the boat was. Not a take it. With, with uh, Pace being one of your guys' staples, how well do you feel like Jordan fits into that? Hey, really well. And, and you know, I, uh, 
that's why I played him. If you think we're, our second game of the year against the Lakers, you know, last year we played fast against those guys, and and uh, I threw threw him out there instead of uh, Keon. And part of the reason is he's another ball handler. He's really good in terms of getting up and down with the ball, and, and to help us play faster, trying to throw him out there. Uh, in my opinion, only good things can happen because that's what we do, especially when Fox is off the floor, so that that speed or that pace does not uh, take a take a hit. And uh, you know, I'm happy that he, uh, he played well last night because it, it shows everybody that really he deserves an opportunity to be out on the floor. Uh, Keon deserves an opportunity to be out on the floor, and that's what my dilemma is. <laughs> you know, and sometimes it may be Keon, sometimes it may be Jordan. Sometimes it could be Doug because he's just shooting the mess out of the ball and his gravity is big time uh, on the offense and on the floor. So, um, you know, you just got to continue trying to get a feel and everybody has to stay ready. But Jordan did a fantastic job getting downhill, making the right decisions and showing that he is quick with the basketball. Yes, thanks everyone. Thanks.